हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन माय फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन कॉम्प्लेक्स फंक्शंस इन दी अर्लियर टॉपिक वी हैड टेकन ए नोट्स ऑन कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स सो द अर्लियर चैप्टर वाज ऑन अबाउट द रिव्यू ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स नाउ द रियल कोर्स स्टार्ट्स सो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स फंक्शंस we discuss about some regions in the complex plane okay, because whenever we are talking about function say f suppose f is a function from a to b then whenever f is a complex function this a and b will be some sets or regions in the complex plane okay so we should be familiar about Uh, regions in the complex plane so here i am taking some regions and i will discuss how to represent the, those regions in terms of set so the first region we will see is the region which contains set of all complex numbers okay so it is nothing but xy plane or simply plane so z equal to order pair xy where x and y are any real numbers okay, so x will be somewhere here and y will be somewhere here so this is order pair xy okay so this is a complex plane okay so the first region is complex plane and the set which represents complex plane is the set of all complex numbers now we consider all those points for which x is greater than 0 okay i consider the set of all ordered pairs x y for which x is greater than 0 okay so all these points are to the right of y axis because on y axis x is 0 we know that on y axis x is 0 and to the right side of y axis x is positive so if i consider those complex numbers whose real part is positive then they are to the right of the y axis okay so this whole set is known as right half plane similarly if i consider the points which are to the left of y axis like this then that portion of the complex plane is known as left half plane so left half plane can be represented in this way set of all ordered pairs x y for which real part of z is negative x and y are any real numbers similarly we can define upper half plane and lower half plane upper half plane means we have to consider those complex numbers whose imaginary part is positive okay so on x axis y is 0 so y is positive if our complex number is above x axis okay so this this part is known as upper half plane so upper half plane can be written as the set of all ordered pairs x y for which x and y are any real number y is greater than 0 what if i consider y negative then we will have lower half plane so lower half plane means the set of all complex numbers for which imaginary part that is y is negative so if y is negative we are below x axis okay so this is about lower half plane now we consider one important set for that we start by taking any fixed complex number suppose z0 is a fixed complex number and let z equal to xy be any complex number then what is difference between z and z0 so it is nothing but difference between real part and difference between imaginary part so it is x minus x0 comma y minus y0 
so by the definition of absolute value we have modulus of z minus z0 equal to square root of square of real part that is square of x minus x0 plus square of imaginary part that is square of y minus y0 now suppose the distance between z and z0 is capital r then if i put this r here okay, mod z minus z0 is r this implies from this equation it implies under root of x minus x0 square plus y minus z0 y0 square is r and if we square on both sides it is square of x minus x0 plus square of y minus y0 equal to r square okay, so you are familiar with this curve what is this curve in xy plane it is nothing but circle with center x0 y0 and radius r okay so the circle with center x0 y0 that is z0 and radius r is represented by this equal mod z minus z0 equal to r so remember absolute value of z minus z0 equal to r represents a circle with center z0 and radius r okay, like this z is on boundary of the circle and radius of the circle is r so difference between z and z0 is r similarly we can consider z0 equal to 0 and r equal to 1 we obtain mod z equal to 1 so mod z equal to 1 is a circle with center origin and radius 1 okay, this is special type of circle known as unit circle now if i consider any point inside the circle and suppose radius of circle is r and if i consider any point z here then you can see this distance distance between z and z0 is always going to be less than r strictly less than r so if z is any point inside the circle and not on the circle then distance between z and z0 is always less than r that means we are considering those points z which are inside the circle mod z minus z0 equal to r so this set is known as neighborhood of z0 and another name is open disk with center z0 okay, why it is open disk because we are not considering boundary of the circle we are considering those points which are inside the circle so remember this mod z minus z0 less than r is nothing but neighborhood of z0 with radius r or open disk with center z0 and radius r now what is meaning of this 0 less than absolute value of z minus z0 less than r so first we consider this one absolute value of z minus z0 less greater than 0 okay what what is meaning of this so suppose i consider mode z minus z0 equal to 0 okay so when this is true this is true if and only if when this is true if and only if z equal to z0 if z and z0 are same or equal then only we can write mod z minus z0 equal to 0 that means z can be equal to z0 so if i consider mod z minus z0 greater than 0 that means i am not considering 
center of the circle okay, so it is the set of all points inside the circle but z is not equal to z0 so 0 less than mod z minus z0 less than r is the set of all points which are inside the circle with center z0 and radius r but we are not considering z0 inside the circle so this is known as deleted neighborhood of z0 deleted neighborhood of z0 means we are deleting the center we are not considering the center in this set it is sometimes known as puncture disc also okay so remember 0 less than mod z minus z0 less than r is known as deleted neighborhood of z0 and mod z minus z0 less than r is known as neighborhood of z0 so if we remove z0 from its neighborhood then it is known as deleted neighborhood of z0 similarly if i consider mod z minus z0 less than or equal to r then it means we are considering all the points on the boundary of the circle as well as all the points which are inside the circle okay so it is not this set this inequality represents the set of all points inside and on the circle it is known as closed disk with center z0 similarly you may have number of regions we have to write down this region the set of all points which are on the line x equal to 1 so that we can represent in this way z equal to order pair 1y where y is real number okay, because at any point on this part x is 1 so now we consider this annular region r1 less than mod z minus z0 less than r2 that means our z is somewhere here so if i consider z in this annular region between two circles then you can see z is outside the circle of radius r1 that means distance of z from z0 is greater than r1 S similarly z is inside the circle of radius r2 that means distance of z and z0 z must be strictly less than r2 okay, again i repeat z is outside the circle of radius r1 therefore distance between z and z0 must be greater than r1 now z is inside the circle of radius r2 that means distance between z and z0 must be less than r2 okay so this is known as annular region or region between two concentric circles okay so this is all about today's session in the next session we will start complex functions and we will discuss some important properties of complex functions thank you very much